I think this is the most important message um, that I have been downloaded. We will be talking about this next level of judgment coming. About the targets of these judgments. And we will be obedient to mother. She told us to break the illusion. That is our mission today is to break the illusion from our seats of judgment in the courts of the Most High. This message is for those who have an ear and even for those who do not because the, more, the Most High always give warning before destruction. The video that I did yesterday concerning uh, what you see on the picture, I have to be careful because this is a very important message this is like one of the most important messages that I did yesterday when I did that video I felt like it was the most important message that I have ever been downloaded because it, it destroyed an illusion in the beginning of our mission Star Seed United allies and friends you know that mother told us to go to war in a very different way when this thing first broke out um, I did a video, I waited a few days and I did a video, I was caught up in, in, in an emotion and the emotion was, I was so profoundly joyous that those that have been victimized would fight back. It's like, oh, they struck the bully, oh, they knocked the bully down. I was caught up in my emotions and I believed the illusion. Before the war broke out, mother had me up all day long, all night long. I would find myself repeating, Father, destroy the illusion, Father, destroy the illusion, destroy the illusion, Father, destroy the illusion. But I had no idea about what was going on. It's like I got the download before this even broke out that I was supposed to destroy the illusion, but I hadn't made the connection yet. I was mandated to go back and do the video I did yesterday. I was caught up in Hashitan's illusion. The first video I did, I was joyous that finally the Palestinians were getting some kind of justice. Maybe there was hope for them. Yeah, like everybody in the world that know what's going on in Palestine. Yeah, we were all happy. We were all cheering for the Palestinians. And because we were caught up in our emotions, we didn't see what was really going on. And so after I did that video, all night long, I'm tossing and turning and mother's showing me things all about this war. Had me looking at both sides of the narrative. Yeah, because we were only, we were getting mostly one side of the narrative. We had all of these images in front of us. Some of them we finding out that people are posting like the rockets going over there. Yeah, people are posting from games, video games. It's not real. And then some of the images that we saw of buildings being bombed, that was from four years ago. Yeah, this was all a big production. Now, they control the narrative. They control the narrative because they need the illusion to stand no matter what at what cost any threat to to their uh, narrative and their illusion has to go down so they took down my video that's how I know I was on target everything that I said in that video must have been absolutely true absolutely absolutely the truth they were downloads to me but it was absolutely on target and they took it down because they must control the narrative in order to keep the illusion going. Because in that illusion, they can control and direct people's energy. And they need every drop of energy. Otherwise, if, if they didn't pull that up, nobody was going along with this guy over here. Nobody was going along with him just going in there and invading those poor people, our cousins. Nobody was going along with it. Even the U.N. started uh, listening to the Palestinians' narrative. 
and started looking down upon them. And that's the last thing that these people right here want. That's why they have the ADL. Nobody can say anything. Yeah, they're trying to make it a law so they can enforce it. You say anything about them. Because they need to control the narrative to make them look like the good guy while they're pulling all kind of shenanigans. And they have been doing that for centuries. Okay. So, I'm going to be careful in this video. I'm going to talk as an ambassador today because I wear that hat too. I'm an ambassador in the kingdom. I gained that. I asked for that job. And now here I am as an ambassador. To all of you that have spied in on the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, I have receipts that you do, and now I know you do. The FBI, CIA, Homeland Security, Department of Justice, the UN, some of the other world leaders that are that that realize we are in the days of judgment and they're looking into the esoteric things spiritual things right now cuz they're trying to understand what's going on when the earth start boiling or when these fires start burning in the, I mean just in unimaginable unexplainable ways they're trying to figure out are we in the days of judgment and you've been looking in I'm an ambassador talking to you directly okay I'm going to explain to you what's coming next in this judgment. I'm going to show you an example of what happens when people ally with the wicked, with the evil, with Hashatan's crew. I'm going to show you what happens to them for that. Okay? We have a great example where we went to the courts of the Most High and he reacted with a judgment. The judgments that are about to hit, you going the, the the press is gonna have to use um, other terms other than unprecedented. We've been having so many unprecedented events over the last year that, uh, I mean, uh, every day unprecedented events where hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens out thousands of people are perishing. These are judgments, and they're all on top of each other, but. The next judgments to come, the words that should be used is unimaginable devastation because all whole cities, whole states will be judged according to their energy. The world has already been weighed into balance. And if you've been looking in for some time when those quote-unquote Chinese spy balloons were over the Canada and the United States and South America, I'm sure they were all over this earth. We just didn't know about it. They were taking the frequency and vibration of the planet. It wasn't Chinese spy balloons. The vibration was the energies, the energies that were in the sector, people's energy. The frequencies were all of those that perished crying out to the Most High God of Israel about their suffering and how they died and how they're doing their posterity even today. Our ancestors crying to the Most High and He is hearing them. So they got all of that. They got all of that. Now, I'm going to give you a great example of all of these things going on at one time. Some of you have followed my station for a while, but I must do it like this. I have to make I have to make total sense to everyone. Okay. now you guys remember the Mediterranean coastline, the entire coastline of that Buddha, Italy was set afire. Somebody triggered that judgment. It was Kide Side or Side Kide. I don't even. It's one. It's either one of those. Kide Side, I think. The president of Tunisia. He triggered that a judgment. He triggered that. Everybody in the world stood by and watched, just like they watched everything going on in Palestine. 
Nobody allied with the little weak, poor people. You Well, they allied with them. They would speak up for them. But what I'm talking about allied as far as stopping the fuckers from doing what they were doing. Nobody. Okay. So everybody stood by and watched just like everybody stood by and watched Palestine. Nobody punished them with sanctions or they might have put little sanction on it, but nothing to really twist their arms to stop the fuck what they are doing to the people. And so, the Atlanteans were taking the frequency and vibration. All of you that participated, everybody that allied with old side kite, got a judgment that last stunt that he did was the trigger he triggered the judgment he triggered it when he left the migrants out to die first he had them rounded up allowed his enforcements to beat them and break their bones rough around pregnant women and children yeah, because he sent pregnant women and children out there to the wilderness to die with no food and water. Some of them with broken bones. Yeah, during the heat dome. They're in the desert, no coverage. He sent them out there to die in a very, very hopeless way, you see. All of it, 100% of it, and everybody involved in these kind of atrocities. You're being recorded, and I'm not talking about in this 3D dimension. The Atlanteans have 100% truth of everything on everyone, and we are in the days of judgment. So I now just, I just showed you what triggered the judgment. What's coming upon this earth is going to be so horrific. Because of what you chose to do and who you chose to ally with, no matter what your reason was. You know, whatever your benefits was, it's not going to be worth it to you if you choose the wrong side. Okay? Now, some of these people are beyond repentance. They think they are gods. They are fools. They have worshipped everything in this 3D matrix. And in their foolish hearts were darkened. They believed the lies of Hashitan. Hashitan got control over the messages. Right now. Ooh, we may he get swift judgment if he touches this message. Because this message is my first message as an ambassador, I think. An official message now that I know that I'm sitting on the judgment seat. I'm telling you right now. Like Doug Imhoff said. Words matter. <laughs> you have no idea how much words matter with us. Okay. And I advise you to ally with us. And what I mean by that. I'm not talking about Hebrew Israelites. Our, our kingdom is vast. It's way more than us. And it's a whole lot of Hebrews over the earth. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the kingdom of love and light. I'm talking about good versus evil. If you make the wrong choice, it's not you just that's just going to get the judgments. It's going to be your posterity that gets judged too. You might not even have posterity after these judgments hit if you do not heed the warning. The Most High is so gracious and he's been so merciful. And this is a message of mercy. He always gives the courtesy of a warning before destruction. And destruction is coming to everyone that has already been targeted. If you're surrounded by low vibers that you know is pulling all, all on all of this stuff off and you're helping them because you're benefiting in any way or just because you bid into the 
the lie and you're giving your energy in any way to the kingdom of evil. It's just a clear line. It's so simple. The Most High is good and there's evil. He's making a, a clear picture of who's evil and who's good. Who's the colonizers and who's fighting for freedom. He's making a clear, precise picture of good and evil. And so, tick tock, tick tock. This is an urgent message because what's coming on this earth will be unimaginable. We're going to be seeing dragons. We're going to be seeing Sulanus. We're going to be seeing Pegasus. We're going to be seeing the mighty lion from the jungles of the Most High. The forest, excuse me, of the Most High. All of them are going to be in action. All of them are going to be activated to go against evil. And what you have in this dimension is, is you have nothing to fight with. We already seen with these unprecedented events. We've seen the great fires. We've seen the great floods. We've seen the great winds. Yep. All kind of sinkholes and we, we've seen that this earth is it's before our very eyes that we are in the days of judgment choose you today because there might may not be a tomorrow for you or your posterity and that's the warning it's not yet just you it's your whole family that's going to get it these people that are sitting in these power seats that have controlled the narrative, hid the truth, will be standing butt naked before the Most High God of Israel with Thoth the Atlantean with your records of how you ruled in those power seats. The books are going to be opened. Everything is stored in inner earth. That's what's beneath your feet. And the areas where the vibration of the people are, are so low. They just dwell in hatred and anger and selfishness as narcissists. Yeah, that's what they picked up. That's a target. That's, that area is targeted. Just like. The record of Sodom and Gomorrah. And y'all know, know archaeologists already found it. That that was a true story. That we need to talk about. That was a targeted judgment. Because the vibration of the people was so low. And we're not just talking about sexually. And in every area of violence. In every area of wickedness. They were vibrating on such a low vibration. Anything went there in that city. And the Most High decided he was going to judge them. And he told Abraham about it. He gave Abraham the warning. And I'm giving you a warning. That these two that's sitting in these power seats have triggered the greatest judgment of them all. It's about to happen very shortly. It might be days. It might be weeks. It might be hours. It might be right after you hear this message. And so now is the time to make a choice. Is good versus evil. Now we're going to destroy the illusions and the lies today in the courts of the Most High. Because many are swayed. Excuse me. Many are persuaded. To believe the falsehoods and their narratives. We've been all tricked. That's why I had to experience that. Like damn. I was tricked. But mother didn't let that trick last. She exposed it right away. And it's like see. See how tricky they are. Yeah they're trying to reap energy. From like minded people. They're trying to change the mind of the world concerning them. But it's not going to work. I need to, again, talk about the illusion, the illusion that's happening over here. 
Yeah, the illusion that uh, Marihala. See, I had to experience being tricked too. I did one video where I was tricked. They were all right with that one. Yeah, they were all right with that video because I was being tricked. I fell for the illusion, believing the narrative that they put before me. And that finally, everybody was so distracted and happy for the Palestinians for finally hitting back. They knocked the bully down. We were so caught up in our emotions until we bit into it. And so all night long, I was tossing and turning. Uh, Marihala had me listening had me guided to the other narrative of truth from the Palestinians. And then she had me to notice this and that and this and that and this and that. And I was like, whoa, that's why mother was telling me, you got to go to the courts of the Most High and destroy the illusion. You have to destroy the illusion. And that's what I did in that video. And YouTube took it down. Because these people that work for Hashatan, by any means necessary, they want to keep the truth at bay. They want to keep the truth at bay. They go as far as they can, so they took down the video. Because that narrative was the truth. It was 100% on target, evidently on every download I had. Concerning the illusion... I had no idea what mother was drilling in me. I would just con continually, continuously be rocking and saying, yeah, I would destroy the illusion because I knew the illusion was a part of their magic, but I, this war hadn't broken out yet. And mother's telling me, you got to go to the courts of the Most High to destroy the illusion. You have to destroy the illusion because she, she told us that secret that once the illusion, once the illusion is exposed... The magic is no more. It's been destroyed. You can't be tricked, you see. And so I put out that video and everybody that was supposed to hear that message of truth heard it. All of you spying in heard the message. They have control over the narrative thus far. But see, we're going to the courts of the Most High. To destroy the illusion. They're going to lose their ability. To hide the truth. Very shortly. I advise you. If you're spying in. To pass this message along. Yeah but you know. You can do that or, or not. It, it doesn't matter to me. Because you know what. People have been so wicked to my people. Until I feel like Jonah. And I told y'all that. Some will heed to this warning and some will not. Some are reprobated. They have no good within them. And they don't have the ability to repent. So what you do is shake the dust off your feet. Once you give them the message and they don't receive it, shake the dust off your feet. And I advise you to cut every tie, every connection with the wicked. This might be the last time this trick was played. Where there's an illusion before the world. A lie. Truth suppressed. To give the wicked an excuse. To be merciless. Unto the children of the Most High. This might be the last time. You know, they use the same, the same scenario throughout history to do exactly what they're doing right now. Because they want an excuse so that they can walk around with impunity for their mercilessness. And today, from my seat of judgment, from my throne of judgment... I ask the Most High God of Israel to be most merciless to the merciless. Abracadabra, so be it. Some people are beyond repentance. You better separate yourself right now. You better break all alliances with those wicked ones that are the puppets 
of the puppet master. You see, it's one puppet master somewhere on this earth. And Hashitan, just like the serpent in Genesis, where he lent his body, he lent himself to Hashitan, is somebody on this earth right now who is a puppet master. He's the puppet master. And he has many puppets that are in very powerful seats, like these two. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Your time is almost out. The puppet master has controlled the media all the way around. Yeah, he controlled the media. He controlled the portals to people's eyes and ears. Yeah. So his time is almost out. His time is almost out. Everybody that needs to hear this message will hear it. I know even if you take it down, the ones that are supposed to hear this message hears it. Now your responsibility is to pass the message along if you care about the people in your territories, in your countries. It's your turn to go into motion if you have resonated with this message. Some of you hated this message from the beginning. You thought it was a bunch of hocus pocus. My little corniness irritated you. My euphonics irritated you. You hated to listen, but you had to listen to every word. Because you were commanded to by your masters. And you saw things happen on this earth as a result of what's happening with Star Seed United. And now you resonate. Now you know. You know that this is the truth. You know what's happening. You you know you're resonating. Alarms went off into you. Well, it's time for you to pass that message along of what you have witnessed. And if they do not receive you, if they reject the whole idea, hey, so be it. You did what you were supposed to do. Now it's time for you to shake the dust off your feet and break the alliance. If you want to save everything that you love. And everybody that you love, you completed your mission. That's what you exactly what you were supposed to do. That's what you were born to do. So now, it's your choice. It's your choice. Yeah. We're about to go to the courts of the Most High, but before we go there, I'm going to read the Psalms to my Star Seed United. So that's the end of that message to all of you that have been spying in. Now you understand. Judgments are targeted. Judgments are targeted according to the frequency and vibration of the sector. Now you understand that. Now you understand that there are levels of judgment. They have escalated this last summer. The heat dome that we experienced last summer is the confirmation that this world is under judgment. We're about to go to the next level. And those evil, wicked ones trigger the judgment. It's about to go down. Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. 
Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Star Siege United, congratulations. We're about to go into the courts of the Most High. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. The King of glory has come in. Hallelujah. And now we're about to destroy some illusions in the courts of the Most High. Father, once again, we thank you so much for inviting us to this most holy place. We also thank you for putting us in seats of judgment, for appointing us and anointing us for this fight, this great fight. We only worship and serve you, Yahweh. We serve you with gladness, and we pray for the grace to make you proud. We ask you for great victories. Mother, we adore you, and we love you, and we thank you so much for your guidance in our great mission. Mother, you said for us to de destroy the illusions, destroy the illusions. Father, we have been obedient to Mother and her guidance in our mission. And she told us to destroy the illusions. And from my seat of judgment, all my fellow judges, if you're in agreement with me, we all agree that the illusion be destroyed swiftly, immediately. Abracadabra, so be it. Father, we ask you to honor these prayers from your children that you appointed to be the judges. And our judgment call is that the puppet master be brought down. The puppet master be destroyed. All of the energy that he has thrived on, Yahweh, I ask you to remove it. All of the energy that he has gleaned with his illusions and his lies, we ask you to snatch it from him and render him powerless. Swift judgment, Yahweh, swift judgment. Abracadabra, so be it. The next illusion that I must break is the illusion that the people who say they are Jews and are not but they lie about it. They stole our identity. That's a great illusion. That's a great illusion. I destroy that illusion. I destroy the illusion that the people who say they are Jews and are not that have been riding on the children of the Most High's identity. I break that illusion immediately. So be it, abracadabra. The word magic that has been used against humanity to control their energy. I break the word magic. All of the words that have been used to label the good as evil and the evil is good. I break that spell. I break that power. I break that influence that has supported all of the illusions to trick humanity. Abracadabra, so be it. Curses upon all of the puppet masters that has the power to control the narrative that has supported the lies. Curses be unto you, Abracadabra. The illusion is now destroyed. The illusion is destroyed. Truth will prevail. Truth will prevail. So be it, abracadabra. I ask you to have mercy on our family in Palestine, Father. Have mercy on them and stop the hand of the enemy. And we ask you for immediate response and judgment towards them. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart always be acceptable in thy sight, 
O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Once again, thank you, Father, for allowing us to come into your most holy courts, unto the holy hill. Thank you for bowing the heavens to hear us, Yahweh. Thank you for your mercy towards us. Thank you, Mother, for this wisdom. Thank you for the guidance. Thank you for the drive and the strength and the courage. Hallelujah. We pledge our allegiance to our big brother, Messiah, the King and God of this earth, who's leading off the host of the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you gleaned some wisdom. I hope you gleaned some power and some energy towards this fight. If you're new to my station and you resonate with this message, by all means, subscribe and join in the fight. All energy counts. All energy towards this fight counts. From the least to the greatest, it all counts. Okay, you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you. Shalom. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? We are so victorious. All praises to the Most High. This is a game changer, Star CG9. Star Seed United forever, yeah. And thank you for your support of this station and all your gifts of love. May the Most High multiply them for whatever your heart's desire. Times 100, abracadabra. Yeah, okay, you guys, until the next magical show. Your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, the Jericho out. Shalom.